day two, Cisco Live US in Las Vegas. It's been an amazing day one. We were packed busy in the DevNet zone, just so much happening, but today's a special day. We it had is. our keynote today. Yep. A lot of our leadership, Chuck, Liz, G2, Jonathan, everybody was on stage yep. announcing a whole bunch of stuff. Lots from everywhere, from application security, full stack observability, generative AI, and so much more. Yep. You just, you need to go back and watch the live stream recaps, as well as the press releases, to really understand the breadth and depth that was announced this morning. AppD take, took over today. Mm -hmm. uh, we had an AppD takeover today earlier at around 11 a.m. And we had some treats and, and some fun sessions that we all kind of got involved with. And it, it was a, a, a nice Nice atmosphere around here. A party. They're, they're party always theme. a blast. It just it makes for a good break in the mo in the uh, momentum throughout. The yeah. Day. And speaking of app dynamics, we had FSO demos. So make sure you check out more information about FSO if you haven't already. Observability is such a key component of not just the network, but the broader connection of things that you need to run an organization. If you can't see something, you can't troubleshoot it, you can't resolve it, you can't understand how to solve for the future. So yeah, absolutely check out the FSO yeah, sessions. Yeah. And then our leader, um, Senior Director Ray Stevenson and Ann Gentle, they were on stage today uh, around 1 p.m. and they talked about what it means to be API first right. in today's world. Um, did you attend that sh session? I got, to, I got to stop by for a little while. Yeah. And I think the, the key for everyone to, to know, you really should be, you know, watching it was fantastic. But the key really here is APIs, programmable interfaces for products, any product cannot be an afterthought. They can't just be something you put together and throw out there just because someone asked you for it. They have to be thought of as their own part of a product. Right. In addition right. to any other feature you have to really be functional because so much more of this world that we live in is driven by applications, and those need those APIs to be able to work with your product effectively. Right. So you really need to focus on them as a core component of what you're delivering. It's not just the box in the case of Cisco, in some cases anyway, it's the API that comes along with it to do and enable so much more. Yep, yep. So it's key to understand how to go API first, what to find in your APIs, and how to keep them clean. Last but not the least, we had our Cisco networking takeover. Um, again, some fun treats, we had some get-togethers, we had some really amazing sessions, some good speakers on stage. Um, so if you haven't checked out anything, don't worry, you're not, you're not going to miss out on anything. We're going to keep you posted and updated on everything that happens at developer.cisco.com slash Cisco Live. And uh, don't forget, tomorrow's a big day. We have some amazing sessions again lined up. And it's a pretty busy day in the DevNet zone, so make sure you follow us, check, check us out, and keep, stay with us.